Hey, my name is Jake Fine, and today we're going to be learning how to play Snap by Rosalyn. Part of why I chose this song is, though it's a pop song, it has an underpinning of folk and Americana in the guitar part that I think is really useful when you apply it across a broad spectrum. I think it's really great to explore how to play fluidly when you play open chords like the ones you find in folk and Americana. So without further ado, let's dive in. Alright, let's get started. We are in standard tuning. And this song mostly deals with these four open chords, that being A minor, F, C, and G. We're gonna break those down slowly for you. Um, so I think first we want to approach what the left hand is doing in the chord shapes, and then we can explore what the right hand is doing and how we can kind of tie it all in together. So the very first chord is an A minor chord, and that's built by putting your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, putting your ring finger right under it on the same fret, and then the index finger on the first fret of the B string. That's what it should sound like. And the very next chord is an F chord. Uh, and something that's cool about three out of the four chords that are played in this chord progression is that they share one common element, that being the index finger on the note C here on the B string right here. So that really shouldn't be moving, that should be your anchor point in all but one of the chords here. Um, so when we move from the A minor to the F chord, what we're going to do is we're going to keep that index finger here. We're going to move the middle finger down to the second fret of the G string, and then build it with the pinky on the third fret of the D string, and the ring finger here on the third fret of the A string. So it sounds like this. So we go from this. You see how that index finger doesn't move at all. And then once again, we're gonna to go to a C chord here, and the same thing applies. We're going from this chord to here. So what we do is we take off the pinky, and we move the middle finger up one string. That's it. Take off the pinky, move the middle finger up one string. C chord, index finger doesn't move at all. So now we've done those three out of four chords. And then we move to a very simple rudimentary version of a G chord. We don't even need to put our finger on any of the top strings. Just put the ring finger on the third fret of the low E string. And then we're dealing with these three strings here, the D, G, and B strings. So let's move on now to the right hand. It's not exactly clear in the original recording what exactly they're playing with their right hand, but I'm going to approximate it and you can kind of interpret it based on what you think sounds good. Moving in a kind of straight line downwards from the thumb. Like that, so. That pretty much wraps it up. Again, my name is Jake Fine and thank you so much for watching.